classic example of this report is on Amdiki. The government of Japan handed over the cold chain equipment to the Ministry of Health today. To support Bhutan's response to COVID-19 pandemic, the government of Japan to UNICEF supported the Ministry of Health in strengthening the cold chain system to store COVID-19 vaccines at various temperature across all healthcare facilities in Bhutan. Cold chain is a backbone of immunization program and a high quality cold chain allows health workers to deliver life-saving vaccines to every child. The government of Japan's support of Niltam 119.7 million was utilized in procurement and installation of cold chain equipment comprising walk-in coolers, walk-in freezers, ice line refrigerators, solar refrigerators, cold boxes, and vaccine carriers, among others. The government of Japan's support has enhanced the storage capacity for life-saving vaccines by more than threefold in Bhutan and built the capacity of cold chain, biomedical and electrical professionals in the repair and maintenance of cold chain equipment. The combo means uh, it's a combination of ILR and deep freezer. Uh, ILR thing at plus two to eight eight G temperature mentioned back up The deep freezer was uh, minus fifteen to minus twenty five. The only purpose they got was vaccine storage. Kid will be in Vaccine ki potency seed be needed. Will be in recommended temperature. Not just will The remaining tools this will be watching. Garadi vaccine equipment repair be needed. Tools this will be in and even the that in the bomb with the GNL. Any equipment they were supported by the Japan uh, government of Japan to the people of government, uh, people of Bhutan. Your Excellencies, um, ladies and gentlemen, vaccines must be continuously stored at a recommended temperature range from the time they are manufactured until they reach the beneficiary. This is because temperatures that are too high or too low can damage a vaccine and lose, lose its potency, its ability to protect against the disease. Once the vaccine loses its potency, it cannot be regained or restored. Responding to COVID-19 meant operating with a lot of different vaccines with different cold chain and storage temperature requirements. It also required speed, resources, and a lot of planning to prepare countries to be ready with storage facilities for vaccines that require extreme conditions such as minus 70 degrees Celsius. I am proud to share today that through our partnership, we, among others, managed to procure and install ultra-low temperature freezers on time to store the Pfizer <coughs> vaccines soon after it landed in Bhutan. <coughs> Amid all the complexity the pandemic has presented us, our partnership is about children and families, about saving lives and protecting them by delivering vaccines stored at the right temperatures. I also hope that the support extended to this project by the people and the government of Japan will further strengthen the friendship between our two countries. And for more than two years, Face-to-face -face exchanges between the governments of our two countries were suspended due to the pandemic. However, we continued making progress on economic cooperation through online channels. And particularly in the area of healthcare, we have been pro pro providing a great deal of uh, cooperation. It was through the financial support from the government of Japan that we were able to procure a diagnosis <coughs> set of cold chain equipment to store and transport COVID-19 vaccines as well as routine vaccines in the recommended temperature range. I am happy to report here today that the cold chain equipment we have received to date have all been installed in our health facilities and are being used to further our immunization efforts so that no good is requiring immunization services are left behind. Besides the procurement of coaching equipment, the government of Japan support 
help build the capacity of our technicians in the area of maintenance, repair, and upkeep of old chain equipment, thereby considerably enhancing their technical knowledge and skill. Now our children and women are safer than before. As our vaccines are now safely stored, not only stored, it is monitored daily in a real-time basis, and it is distributed so the all uh, vaccine refrigerator event, which has a tracking system with temperature and temperature monitoring system. And from there, we are distributing vaccine from district to the basic uh, primary health care unit, maintaining the temperature, and it is stored perfectly as per the standard of the WHO. With this, we are hopeful and we are very encouraged that without um, we are providing the vaccination to every individual without leaving no one behind with the potency of vaccine as per the standard. And also I would like to thank, sincerely thank the UNICEF for facilitating not only in uh, uh, EPA program activities but also in other areas like logistics and everything. So we look forward to receiving similar support from government of Japan in the near future. Finally, I wish to wish the delegates from the University of Japan, New Delhi, to have a pleasant and happy stay in Thimphu Bhutan. Once more, thank you and thank you.